Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, December 28, 2019. Free pick coming up in college football in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a free $60 account. Consider it a great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Get started by clicking on the link below the video. All right, cutting this one early as we do each and every Friday. Actually, the Iowa uh, contest with USC just about to kick off as I record this video. We've still got our free pick on Oklahoma State, which right now the Cowboys leading 14 to seven. That one could go either way, obviously, but that was our free pick on Friday. Here's what's going on for me on Saturday, then we'll get to all the goods. Right now, you can go to DocSports.com to my Handicappers homepage and grab my next Elite Level Bowl game. Eight unit play, only eight unit play of the bowl season, and it's available. It's a Saturday football game. It's a side. It's available right now as part of my remaining games over at DocSports.com. Nine more games to go between the College Football Bowls, NFL Week 17 Sunday, and again, that eight unit play on Saturday in College Football six unit play top Sunday and by the way the eight unit play our elite level play so far we've had one seven unit play on Thursday one with Louisiana Tech shutting out Miami 14 nothing as an underdog we got the win there so uh, in fact we swept on Thursday and uh, we'll report what happened on Saturday on our next report on Sunday morning because as I mentioned the games are just basically getting underway early second quarter in one game and just underway in the other game uh, but it, uh, so off to a, a great start with these elite level plays we got the one going on Saturday, eight unit play. We got another one going on Monday. Not an eight unit play, but also elite level. So go check those out. Part of the package, again, with nine plays to go. And as we head into this card, we are 42 and 26, which is 62% against the spread the last nine plus weeks. College football and the NFL combined. You don't want to miss out. Big slate of college basketball games and NBA for that matter. A bunch of NBA games too on Saturday slate. Not completely done with the card, but we look to have at least one six unit play in basketball possibly a seven unit play we're going to see where that line goes over the next several hours and into saturday early morning hours if we get the right number if it moves our way that'll be bumped from a six to a seven so go over to docsports.com after 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific for basketball for college basketball on saturday check out what we've got over there nba for saturday will be released at 1 p.m eastern 10 a.m pacific at the same time as the nhl by the way yeah, but again the football plays are available right now as i speak nine more more plays to go, including the big play, the eight-unit play, Saturday's college football slate. All right, uh, uh, let's get to it here. Our report for Saturday, and we'll get to the free pick in just a moment. First of all, the betting update, as we told you we'd have. We're still not seeing a whole lot of movement as far as where the tickets and where the money have been on the playoff games. You've got Oklahoma LSU, or LSU, of course. I, I saw a couple of the 14s out there on Friday, by the way, but still getting over 60% of the tickets and the money on the LSU Tigers over Oklahoma. Remember, LSU first opened nine and a half that Sunday morning a couple of weeks ago after the playoff match matchups were announced. LSU getting about 65% of both the tickets and the money. In the other game, Clemson and Ohio State. Uh, Clemson still about a two-point favorite there. They are also getting about 60% of the tickets and the money. So the public and even the sharp action right now backing the two favorites. And of course, that Clemson-Ohio State game, the Buckeyes open a short favorite now getting two points in that contest. Real quick thought on this. And we'll be able to see if Clemson can really uh, withstand taking on their first real opponent it, so to speak, elite level opponent of the entire season. Uh, obviously, they got Dabo Sweeney, who's taken his team to the championship level before. They've won some trophies. They've won some hardware. And you've got a quarterback who knows how to get it done in Trevor Lawrence. It'll be interesting to see if they're ready for uh, a, a team like Ohio State playing at this level of football after not facing it all season long. I don't think it bothers the Tigers as much as it would a normal team that's in the playoffs for the first time with a coaching staff in the playoffs for the first time. Uh, but we'll see. And of course, we'll also find out if Fields' knee is okay, the Ohio State quarterback. As far as Oklahoma and LSU, hey, don't forget, Jalen Hurts has beaten LSU twice. He did it when he was a member of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Does he have the same team in Oklahoma? Of course not. Uh, but again, he's not going to be intimidated by all at the task at hand. We'll see if the Oklahoma defense, which did get a little bit better in the second half of the season, is able to uh, withstand Joe Burrow and his outstanding wide receivers and the play calling from the LSU offense. Uh, but those are the two biggest issues going for Saturday's playoff games. And again, Again, the public and the money so far against the spread happens to be on the two favorites. 
Let's get to our play, by the way, and that is Memphis and Penn State, our free pick. Now, the number came down from the original opener, Penn State laying seven. As far as the betting report on that one, Penn State getting about 65% of the tickets and the money. What we're looking at is the total. We happen to like the under here, sitting around 60 and a half, uh, the under between Memphis and Penn State. Nobody on this current Memphis staff has called plays. And uh, you got, of course, the coach, the defensive coordinator. Uh, you've got play callers that have left the Memphis program uh, to take on another job. Now, as far as Penn State is concerned, they lost their offensive coordinator also uh, in the mix in this past offseason as he's going on to be the head coach at Old Dominion. I think you're going to see Memphis going up against a defense at the skill level and talent level that they have not faced all season. And really, you got to go all the way back to early in the season. I believe it was game number one when they took on an SEC opponent in Ole Miss and the offense couldn't really get much done talking about the Memphis Tigers so I think you're going to see a lower scoring game than the total indicates total right around 60 and a half we're going to recommend to play under between Memphis and Penn State on Saturday's college football bowl slate again real quick don't forget our bowls are available and our NFL right now same package over at DocSports.com you can go grab my remaining nine plays uh, that includes six in college football three in Sunday's week 17 in the NFL it also includes that eight-unit play. Don't miss out. All right, listen, I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Saturday in the win column. I'll be right back here again a little bit early on the weekends, no later than 10 p.m. Pacific time Saturday night. We'll have a free pick from Sunday's Week 17 in the NFL. Let's put Saturday in the win column.